Salute and greetings. Today my talk is going to be entitled it's, it's going to be entitled Exposing the Sins of Satan. Technology technology and it's a hundred we are a hundred percent bowed down we are bowed down to Satan no one nation of Islam the Moors the only way is the content of your heart but your practices is you're practicing and living in Satan's world <clears throat> and you may not want to live in Satan's world but when you uh, turn to the Bible revelations Eighteen, verse two and three explains it all. I'm not going to read it right now. Maybe on the next video, I can get it in. Technology is Christianity is is a form of technology. Judaism is a form of technology. Islam is the true religion or true way of life or true way of being. This is the device or the technology that has a stranglehold on us all. Now this is a exaggerated two dollar bill but you see this it's, it's red. It's a treasury note. It's blowed up for this purpose. You're supposed to redeem, take this to the treasury department and get two dollars worth of gold. It's not a Federal Reserve note. It's two dollars. It don't say Federal Reserve note only. I got a, you know, a regular size one. But this is where they stole the gold, America's gold. And, but they used that Federal Reserve note for their contracts, for their licenses. And this is what binds you. Even in the Nation of Islam. There are no uh, funeral homes in the nation of Islam built if you want to be buried a Muslim death. There are no uh, hospitals for the nation of Islam where your birth certificate is registered in the nation of Islam. When you are born, you go to the uh, Caucasian hospital. Uh, there are no marriage license given under the nation of Islam. You have to you can have a ceremony in the nation of Islam, you know, and then, but you got to take, get your license to make it legal to whatever state. And the state and the court, you take it to the court and the state deems you married. And you got to get a blood test. The state provides all of that. The currency 
right here is the Federal Reserve note, which is a debt dollar. So the whole system is set up under usury. We're going to talk about that. It's in the Bible also. I think it's in Ezekiel about usury. And uh, all religions, all people, the Moors, the uh, Christians, black Christians, are registered with Satan. You in Satan's house. Now Halloween coming up. Now you got to use you got to use reasoning. Halloween is symbolic of dead of the dead. The uh, grass stopped growing, the greenery, the vegetation stopped growing, goes into a sleep, like dead, like uh, conditioning. The sun uh, is the furthest from the earth, no light. Everything dies during the winter. And it's the rise of negativity around this time be more people getting killed then you go into November Thanksgiving when they double cross the Indians and start taking they tricked them and took their land then you go into December where they tricked the people who said that Jesus is a Caucasian man was born in December and it's a fact God they use technology to brainwash the people through television through paintings you know to uh, brainwash the people into believing that Jesus is God then they go into New Year's <clears throat> they shoot guns. Usually during this time is wars. You know. And then into springtime, they say Jesus died and rose again. You know. So <clears throat> they're talking about the black man right there. You know, but you don't know it. You are a sacrifice. You're double crossed. But anyway, before we go, I want you to see this image. Hello. Are you ready for Halloween? For the depravity, darkness, and evil that takes place on this night? In this video, we will explore the origins of Halloween and discover the satanic connections to it. Let's get started. Halloween, or All Hallows' Eve, although a secular holiday now, used to be a Catholic holiday. The church says it's a day to remember the, all the dead saints that have been martyred throughout the ages. The story goes like this. Roman Catholicism had many great saints to remember and venerate, and therefore had many saints' days to celebrate them on. This, however, got a bit too much, so they decided to combine all the different saints' days into one, the All Saints' Day. Now, you might ask yourself, what do our current Halloween customs have to do with remembering the dead saints? You'd be absolutely correct if you said nothing. So, this is where the trickery comes in. And we're going to discuss this uh, in the next video. At least we're going to talk about it because there ain't going to be no discussion. Sometimes sugar, sometimes salt. I'm trying to wake you up 
and it, but if you don't wake up, it ain't my fault. I'm black light.